Geralt! And now, good people, return to your homes before you taste a witcher's blade. So what'll it be, innkeeper? They killed my son! Damned elves! I want their blood for that! These elves had nothing to do with your son's death. Don't shed their blood. Now that you mention it, yeah, leave them be. Go home, folks. Thank you, Gwynblade. We'd be dead if not for you. The sooner we flee, the better. Take care. Who opened the gates of hell? I don't have any proof, but my coin's on Lorito. Rulers are always looking for a way to cover their mistakes and failures. And the mob always loves a circus, whether merry or bloody. This town will never be the same. A time of disdain has come. How did the rioting start? They say it's revenge for those soldiers who died following Roach. But they were just thugs on Lorito's pay. Almost no one misses them. A spontaneous riot in my ass. Lorito's staying out of it, keeping his hands clean. But his thugs are inciting the mob. I've seen several soldiers in civilian garb leading it. But you won't find any proof against the Commandant. I don't intend to. Why don't the guards do anything? Why would they? The squirrels slaughtered their cronies, and Lorito hasn't given them any orders. We need to find Triss. Last I saw her, she was on her way to meet Sheila in her rented quarters at the inn. I told Triss about the megascope Zoltan's been building. Let's go. There's no time to lose. I was lucky enough to get the key to Sheila's nest. Incidentally, for a big woman, the innkeeper's wife is surprisingly nimble. Come on! Wanna dance, white teddy? Welcome. Charmed. Help! I've walked into a slaughterhouse. <laughs> Death to the unhuman! What sort of freak is that? It's that sorcerer! Leave them alone. They've done you no harm. Right. They're our neighbors. Let's go home, lads. Thank you. I just about felt the blades chill between my ribs. They've done them no harm. Why are they so... Mobs always need a scapegoat after a defeat. Take care of yourselves. The trading post's still boiling. <laughs> Not good. Don't just stand there. We need to look for clues. Sheila's bodyguard. His neck's broken. No wounds. So that's not his blood. Triss enters, breaks the guard's neck, then wounds herself? That's stupid. What a mess. Somebody had a good time in here. Trashed everything. I don't get it. Someone else had to be here. A lot of blood. Too much.
dandelion. Look. What is it? A peephole. Someone might have been spying. The brothel's behind that wall. Maybe the madam saw what happened. Let's go. Stay away from me. Come back later. We're closed. They've killed one of my girls. It's Deride, Geralt. That was her room. What happened? They murdered her. Yesterday, they loved her, drank wine with her, told her she's pretty. Today, five of them came, drunk on blood, screaming filth. She had a client at the time? No. She was with me. What are you looking at? I was consoling her. I was hoping you knew what happened in the next room. I noticed a peephole, but if you were busy... We were, until we heard voices beyond the wall. Schiller normally cast spells that blocked both sight and sound, but there was nothing like that this time. We started peeping. Me first. I saw that redhead, Triss Merigold, and Cedric, our drunkard ex-squirrel. The redhead approached the magic mirror and said, let's see who our ice queen's been talking to recently. She meant Sheila. Even I figured that out. She waved her hands, shouted an incantation, and a man appeared in the room, mighty ugly. Darai was so scared, she squealed. When I finally got Darai out of the way, a different figure was in the room, a woman Triss called Philippa. Greetings, Philippa. Hmm? Triss, you're looking nice. Why are you using Sheila's megascope? I can't believe she approved it. That's like using her toothbrush. Sheila's oblivious to it. Why did Sheila come to Flotsam? It's a delicate matter. We need someone at Hensolt's court, but he hates sorceresses. I know. Hensolt's only son died in a hunting accident three years ago. The king has failed to sire more offspring, in spite of trying incessantly. Sheila claims she can heal the king's faulty apparatus, but needs very rare ingredients. Which she intends to harvest from the Cairn. Exactly. This way a sorceress will have the king's ear again. That's all I know, really. Dandelion. Any idea who Philippa is? Philippa Eilhart. Sorceress counselor to King Radovid of Redania. A grand mistress of the world's most fetid cuisine. Politics. She's amoral in a crystalline way. So devoid of conscience that she's a phenomenon. Rumor is she's out of favor at the Redanian court. Which, if true, she probably arranged herself in order to leave the capital. What happened to Triss? I don't know. I already told you about the only conversation I heard, just before those murderers came. They kicked me and stabbed her eye. But I heard fighting from the other room. The sorceress was screaming. When the murderers left, searching for other victims, I peered outside. Thought I saw Cedric sneaking through the alleys towards the forest. He was staggering. Thank you, Margot. I owe you. Witcher, wait. Give this to Yarveth. A letter? The names of Darai's killers. He'll understand. You're spying for Yorveth? I help him from time to time. Just give him the letter. I'll try, but I can't promise anything. Dandelion, wait here for me. I'm going to find Cedric. Cedric's blood. I just need to follow it.
Well, Cedric, where are Wanted you? Did you see your beast today? He's slowed down, getting weaker. He can't be far. Head mill, Gwynblade. I no longer feel the pain. Always wanted to die among trees. Cedric, what happened? Triss asked me for help. I killed the Dwan guarding the door, and we broke in. Again, I killed a Dwan. I know. Where's Triss? A witcher came in, attacked us. I tried to protect Triss. He was fast. Too fast for me. He hit Triss before she could cast a spell. He knew how to fight a sorceress. Then he ordered her to activate the Megascope. He needed to get to Edern, near the dwarven town of Vergen. Triss said it was madness, but she didn't have the coordinates. He gave her a strange look, threatening. Better give it your best. You're going first, with me right behind you. Then I passed out. When I woke, they were gone. I knew I was dying. The forest called me. Why, Cedric? Why did you get involved? Why did you? Sometimes we must. Have I told you about my visions? That's why I drink. It helps. I'm safe in a mist of vodka. See nothing, feel nothing. Cedric, calm down. But now I see clearly. You need to regain your memory. Only then will you understand who's killing crowned Dwan. And why. How can I get it back? In Edern. In a place tainted with dark magic where ghosts of the Fallen will fight a great battle. Save their souls, and your memory will return. What's happening? The forest. I feel a presence. Farewell. 
my forest. Varfea, Gwynblade. Farewell. Geralt, where have you been? The Kingslayer, dammit. I almost had him. He fled. Teleported to Edern. What? How? He forced Triss to cast the spell. Shit. Roach sent me to find you. We're setting off. He's learned something new. The Scoyatel are also up to something big. What's Roach planning? He went off on Laredo, so it must concern the Commandant. It's something important. What are the Scoyatel planning? They want to storm the barge and they need your help. When did you join the Scoyatel, Zoltan? It's not like that. They're taking the prisoners to Drakenburg. A special prison for non-humans. Bloody monument to human hatred. I'll talk to them. Maybe Roach or the Scoyatel can finally be useful. <laughs> 